Hi guys, this is Chris Martin from binaryoptions.net.au and in this binary options tutorial I will be going through how to calculate break even ratio and why it's important in binary options. So what is break even ratio? It is the win ratio or percentage or win percentage required to break even. So if the break even ratio is 55% and you win 60% of your trades, whether that be in a day or over a month or over a, your whole trading lifetime, you would be profiting. Conversely, if your win percentage was 53%, which would be below the 55% break even ratio, you actually be running at a loss and will eventually go bust. So break even ratio will consist of um, payouts and losses. So a winning trade obviously equals your payout, which equals your profit. So payouts are usually a percentage based on your trade amount. And they can range from 70% all the way up to 95%. Um, a losing trade is obviously your loss, which equals no profit. A loss is usually 100% of your trade amount. Sometimes um, they might return 5% of your out of the money amount, which is acts as insurance. So if you were to trade $100, they may return 5% of that if you were to lose. So you actually receive um, $5 back into your account. So to go through a quick example of an actual winning trade and how it works with your payout. So if you were to place a $100 trade and win and the payout percentage was 80%, your profit would be $80. So your original $100 is returned to you plus the actual $80, which is your profit. So obviously, um, the break-even ratio works closely um, with the risk that is obviously associated with binary options trading. So where you, where you either win a trade and profit or lose a trade and lose the total amount invested. So to help minimize this risk, we need to calculate a break-even ratio and ensure our winning percentage is above that break-even ratio. So how is break-even ratio calculated? Well, it's quite a simple formula um, that I have here that you can see. So it, the formula is the potential loss percentage. So usually when it's a loss, it's usually 100% of your trading amount. Um, and sometimes it might be 90% of your trading amount if they return a small percentage back to you on a loss over the payout percentage um, that you're going to get on a win um, plus, the percent, plus the potential loss, then all that um, times by 100 to get your break-even percentage. So moving on to the actual example. So if our potential loss is 100, a potential payout is 75, then our break-even ratio will be calculated at 57.4%. If we have a winning percentage that is greater than 57.4, we make a profit. If it's equal to 57.4, we break even. And if it's smaller than 57.4, we will eventually go bust. So here are some examples of different potential losses, different potential payouts, and a break-even ratio that will be associated with those combinations. So if, if, a, if a potential loss is 100% and potential payout is 68%, our break-even ratio is at 59.52%. Um, the next one, if it's potential loss is 100%, but a potential payout is 77%, our break-even ratio is slightly smaller at 56.5%. And the next one, if the potential payout is 82%, our break-even ratio drops to 54.95%. Then I've got some examples here if the potential loss is 95%. This is usually in the case where some brokers offer insurance, returning 5% of your invested amount back to you. Um, so if a potential loss is 95%, potential payout is say 75%, then the break-even ratio can drop to as low as 55.88%. So you'll notice that smaller the potential loss and higher the, the potential payout, then lower the break-even ratio. Obviously, the lower the break-even ratio, 
um, gives you more of a buffer to lose more trades but still run at a profit. So here's a trading example. If a break even ratio is calculated to be 54% with a particular broker. So you'll see here there's the wins and losses column and the win ratio um, that occurs there. So if we were to win 60% um, of the time, so six wins and four losses, or six wins and four losses would, would make us win 60% of the time, that would actually mean we're running at a profit. If we win three, if we win three times and lose once, um, that's a 75% win, win ratio. So we're um, profiting, and obviously, if we're um, our win ratio drops below 54%, um, as in those examples where we're actually losing over the long haul. So a break-even ratio will help formulate your money management strategy. Um, for example, you may wish to um, stop trading in a day once you have hit your win ratio um, or the other way you might actually want to stop trading if you drop below um, a particular break-even ratio. So if your win ratio our target is say 60% on the day and you can do that um, say maybe in th in three trades then then maybe you stop um, but if you're on a bit of a on, a on a bit of a streak and you may want to keep going suddenly you lose a few you might might wish to actually stop once that win ratio starts to get close to that break even ratio in a day's trading uh, most professionals will aim for a 65 percent or better win ratio over the lifetime of their trading so as you can see that um, most break even ratios around that in that 50, it's probably 55 to 60% um, level. So obviously anything winning over 60%, you're gonna be um, profiting over the long term. So this is a table just of some popular brokers um, and their potential break-even ratio sorted from the best to the, the worst. So you'll see here that Markets World, uh, based on a potential loss of 100%, um, the potential payout being 95% that their break even ratio drops to almost to almost break even. So you have a higher um, buffer zone there for, for losing more trades but still um, getting ahead in terms of the break even ratio. Uh, then we have IQ option, bank to binary, 24, and the worst being um, uh, Redwood. So so when you're looking through through your brokers, it's very important to look at the potential payout as a huge consideration of why you choose that that broker. Because um, you know, obviously, trading at places like Redwood, you're going to have to have a, a higher margin of wins to, to actually just get past the break-even ratio. And obviously, if the if the if any brokers are offering any insurance, so in, in this example, we've got banked binary is offering a, offering a five percent insurance on a trade, so the potential loss is ninety five percent, with the potential payout being ninety percent. You can see the break even ratio actually um, goes right down to fifty one percent, as opposed to where, where it was before at fifty two percent. So if this is one of the first times you've been watching um, one of my particular videos, please subscribe to my channel. It's a way of bookmarking my channel. So when I upload new videos and next time you log into YouTube, you're going to see my videos in your um, YouTube subscription feed. Also, I highly recommend going to my website, binaryoptions.net.au and joining uh, my site or my newsletter as I'll also send out um, pretty much daily emails of every time I upload a new um, YouTube video or release a new review on a broker or signal service. Um, I also highly encourage you to actually check out the reviews on my on my site um, and try and figure out which binary options broker or signal service is best for you. So until next time, may all your trades be profitable.